Welcome back to this new tutorial in Unreal Engine and today I want to show you how to create a pickup system for weapons or for items and um, yeah a little inventory system also. So um, that is currently the normal first person template from Unreal or from Epic Games um, yeah, with just a new view model here. So um, <clears throat> let's get started and let's go into our character first. So uh, search for where's my first person blueprints, first person character. So um, we want a line trace first. So um, there, are, I know two types of uh, interacting. The first one is uh, when you're near to an object. So you have a hitbox, and when the hitbox when your character is hitting something on the ground and it will detect and you can pick up this um, item. The second one is um, with a line trace so when you look at the item it will interact and so it will detect the item and then we can pick it pick it up. So today I want to show you how to create this the second one so how to um, create an interact when you're looking at an item and then you can pick it up so let's create a function first. We want uh, the interact trace first <coughs> and this is basically a sphere trace for objects like so and for the start we get our first person camera and we get our reward location from our camera and from the end we get the forward vector from our camera we multiply that with a float so right click on your second on your second input convert it to a float and then let's um, plug that into the start here so we create a new input for our function so let's call the input the range all right like so now let's add our world location to our range here so to our forward vector multiplied by our range and then plug that into the end <coughs> so we can set the range later when we're calling this function uh, the same for the radius, just uh, add this pin to the input and now we want to, so it gives an error because we have to set the object types so let's go to the product settings go to collision under engine and there we need to create a new object channel so I already have this interactable here so I'm just gonna delete it right now and then I'm gonna create a new object channel called interactable the default response is on block and accept like so so now uh, let's go out of our object types say make array and then set your array type to interactable <coughs> so now the arrow is gone okay so now let's get out of the return value with a branch and with the branch and the return value, uh, value, we can check if we're hitting something, so if we're hitting an item. And if true, we will um, go out of the out hit and break hit result. And then we will get our hit actor. So in the first person temp uh, temp uh, template, we have the BP rifle here. So I'm just gonna get my skeletal mesh here. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna set the collision type so under collision preset and custom I set the object type to interactable like so compile and save everything and now let's um, get our hit actor let's promote that to a variable called interactable when, when it's true and when it's false, we will just set the interactable to nothing. So because we had a no item right now. So um, let's go into our event graph and um, let's create the input. So when we press F, I want to pick up the weapon. So let's say right click keyboard F and then let's get our interactable here and let's right click on it and say convert to validated get 
so when it's valid so when the interactable is not nothing so when the interactable is set so something then this will get called so <clears throat> all of is valid we will say um, uh, let's print first let's check if everything is working so like so uh, the default uh, template already has a, a pickup system but with a collision so you have to walk to your weapon and then when you're hitting this trace here it will get picked up but I'm just gonna delete this like so and oh yeah let's place our weapon here and oh yeah we already have uh, we also have to call our function so go to your event tick graph or let's just call that event tick like so then we call our interact trace let's set the radius to 4 maybe and the range to 100 Oops, compile and save. And now when we look to our weapon and press F, nothing is working. All right, so let me see. Uh, let's enable the draw debug type for one frame in our interact trace so we can see the trace. Here you can see the trace. And oh yeah, it's, it's too, too, too small. So let's set the range to 200 maybe save and now when we're hitting the weapon and press F it says hello on the corner on the left and uh, now we can go on <coughs> so um, let me just see for our primary action call on use item here and then on the fire projector all right so um then let's say when we are pressing f um, So when we're pressing F, we basically can add our weapon to an inventory. So if you have an inventory system, or um, you can, like in the template, you can attach your weapon to the arm. So let's uh, say attach actor to component. The target is our interactable here. And the parent will be the first person mesh. And the first person mesh has a socket, I think. No, we have uh, the IK hand root or IK hand uh, gun, I think. So let's copy selected bone names, put that into the socket name, snap everything to target, and then let's see. Okay, it disappeared and it's now... Oh, it's there, okay. So that was the wrong... Uh, the wrong bone, I think. Let's see for... Uh, it's called the FP gun. So let's just check. Uh, uh, what bone we need? Not this one. Like a hand root, maybe. No. Uh. Oh yeah, we have a socket called grip point here. So let's copy the grip point and paste it into the socket name. And now it's into the in the correct position and now we picked up our weapon <coughs> like so so if you have a um, an inventory system after you press F and your interactable is set you basically just set your slot or um, find an empty slot so let's uh, let's start and add our little inventory system so 
press right click in the content browser and go to blueprint class and we want a actor component. So let's call this the BP inventory. And here we just create some simple functions. The first function will be find empty slot, like so. So let's create a variable and that will be our inventory. And let's create a, um, a structure. So right click blueprints structure. And this will be our item structure. Let's, and here you can add your values for your items. So the name, maybe a thumbnail if you want to, if you want to. And this will be a texture, texture 2D. Um, maybe description. Uh, this will also be a name. And you can add every value, a value you want to um, have in your item, basically in your inventory. Um, yeah, so um, let's save everything and let's say maybe, yeah, let's just uh, create another variable. Let's call, uh, let's say this the class. So this will be our item class. So. Let's say, um, let's say actor. Okay, so let's get into our inventory. And then we set the inventory vari uh, variable to item structure. <coughs> In find empty slot, we will now uh, get our inventory. And now we will um, add a loop. So for each loop and then get your inventory structure. Oh, yeah, hey. it's right now it's just a single variable. So let's set this to array. Yeah, let's change the type uh, and put the inventory into the array. And now it will call the loop body for every element in the inventory. <coughs> so, um, now let's get out of the array element. Let's actually let's split that. And here you have every value you have in your item structure. So let's say for the name. If the name is equal to nothing, so the slot is empty when the name is nothing. Let's uh, create a branch. So when that is true, we will add a return node. And let's uh, set the output to empty. And then we take that. Uh, when it's false, we will, um, yeah, we will actually do nothing because, um, so when we, out of this, when we add a return node and we say not empty, then, uh, yeah, then it, the function will stop, and uh, when the first slot is empty and the and the second one no, when the first one is set and the second one is empty, um, then it will basically just um, cancel the function even when we have a f uh, an empty slot. So delete your return node, and we will add this return node to the complete. So when we gone, when the function has gone to our <coughs> to all slots in our inventory and there was no return with empty is true then we will return that there is nothing uh, there is no free slot and yeah so uh, let's add another output here and we say uh, we call that the slot and this is an integer and for the slot we will just get our array index so compile and save and that is our little find empty slot function <coughs> um, so let's add another function, let's call that set slot. So get your inventory again, get a copy, and let's put that 
into the input and let's call this the slot no um, out of inventory we say set slot uh, set element sorry and the input slot will be the index and then the item also will be an uh, an input so that is our set slot function so now we can add the bp inventory to our character so hit act, uh, add and search for inventory here bp inventory and under inventory you can add your slots here so how many slots you want for me i have three slots now and then on our interact we will um <coughs> get our inventory say find empty slot if empty is true if it's true then we will get the inventory again reset the slot from the find empty slot and then we, we can set the item here so um, then you have to change uh, at the item variable also to your item so let's just add the item here and set the variable type to your item structure so now we can um, basically change the name and everything we want for our rifle so name rifle thumbnail i don't know maybe this icon description a cool rifle yay um, oh yeah, and I did a little mistake for our class. So we don't want the actor, um, the reference, or the object reference. We want the class. So just um, hit on your actor and then change to class reference, like so. So save everything again, and uh, now in our reference we can also set the class to itself, basically BP rifle. Like so. <coughs> and now um, out of our interactable let's cast to rifle so we will just uh, cast to our rifle here before our find empty uh, empty slot function and then out of the as rifle we will get item and then we set the item here in our slot so um, let's add a print out to our event tick let's set the duration to 0 0.01 and um, let's get out of the string and let's say append so uh, <coughs> now we will just display our inventory right now so get your inventory then get the inventory uh, variable and then in our appends a will be slot 1 um, and b will be um, get a copy of slot 0 so it starts with 0 so slot 0 is basically slot 1 so um, let's just get the name right now then let's add um, another so slot slot 2 another pin get a copy of slot 1 so basically slot 2 <laughs> and two new pins slot 3 and then the name from slot 2 so now let's add uh, some more rifles here and on the top left you can see slot 1 none, slot 2 none, slot 3 none ok so um, let's equip one and you can see the first slot is rifle Wait, let me just um, delete them so yeah that's no problem 
slot one is none, slot two also, and slot, slot three also. So now I'm gonna equip one weapon, and you can see slot one is rifle. I'm gonna equip a new one, slot three rifle, uh, slot two rifle, and uh, slot three rifle. And now I can't equip uh, any other. So uh, to check that, um, let's say when we equip a weapon, we will destroy it. So rifle destroy actor so it's no longer laying on the ground save everything and now slot one rifle slot two rifle slot three rifle and the last one i can equip because my inventory is full all right so um now you can basically um Equip your weapon uh, weapons when you uh, so when you press slot one uh, keyboard one and then you want to equip uh, the first slot so just get your um, inventory and then <coughs> get your first slot get a copy from slot zero again because that is slot one. And uh, then, I don't know, from your class, just, uh, I don't know, add a child actor here. So just for an example, child actor. And then um, child actor set your class. Set child actor class to the class from your variable. And then uh, you can attach the child actor, attach component to component to the grip point. And also you can store your socket name from each individual weapon in another variable in the inventory structure and now um, I equip the rifle and now with one I can equip my gun and I could also then um, create this for slot 2 and slot 3 and uh, yeah so that was a weapon pickup tutorial and a little inventory tutorial so uh, I hope you liked it and I hope it, uh, it helps you so um, yeah, I'm live streaming uh, not every day, but sometimes on YouTube, and um, you can see that in also in my Discord. And the first person at once pack will I don't know when will drop. So the pistol one will drop, and I don't know because Epic Games is I don't know their what problem they have, but they think my pistol is not for me. They think my pistol is copyright copyrighted. But I made it myself, so I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, yeah. See you in the next video. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.